when you learn to actually embody gratitude and be grateful for what you currently have in the present moment, it will always attract into your life an abundance of things for you to be grateful for. So whatever you appreciate in your life appreciates. If you can imagine your life like a beautiful garden, your attention is like the watering can that waters the plants in your garden and causes them to grow and expand and flourish. What you choose to water is what will grow. So are you watering the unwanted plants, let's say the weeds, or are you watering the wanted plants, the things that you want more of in your life? What you pay attention to expands and grows. One day I was hanging out with my girlfriend and just as a test, I decided to just shower her with praise and appreciation. I told her, wow, you are so beautiful. You are so cool and funny and amazing and smart and I love you. You're just the absolute best. Damn, queen, slay. <laughs> I just showered her with appreciation and I was being honest, genuinely. And what I noticed in that moment as I was showering her with appreciation, I actually witnessed her face changed. <laughs> she started to smile and she started to glow. Her actual energy started to become more radiant. She actually became more beautiful in that moment. This is very, very deep because when I studied relationships from David Data, you study Tantra. In Tantra, they talk about how there's the masculine principle of life and the feminine principle of life. This is the yin and the yang. The masculine principle is your attention. It's your awareness. It's where you put your attention, what you focus on. That's why men like to be very directed and focused in their life towards a vision, towards a goal. Whereas the feminine principle of life is the dance of life, the abundance and life force of the present moment itself, the beauty of the manifest forms of the present moment. So if you can imagine this analogy, like the masculine principle is the person walking through the forest and the feminine principle is the beauty of the forest itself. The masculine is the observer and the feminine is the object that is observed. Now, when you go very much deeper into non-duality, you find that the masculine and feminine are actually one in the same thing, but that's a little bit too deep for this video. The main point is that what you focus your attention on expands and grows in your life. So when I first started studying personal development seven years ago, I learned a lot about gratitude. It's hard to study self-help and spirituality without running into the gratitude teaching at least a hundred times because it's everywhere. But for some reason, I didn't fully understand why gratitude was so valuable and why it's really the main key for manifesting abundance and living a happy life. I didn't understand the mechanics of gratitude. I thought that gratitude was just like a nice saying, like it was a platitude. The platitude of gratitude. <laughs> I thought it was just like, oh, be grateful, enjoy what you have. I kind of got it, but I didn't fully understand it, so I couldn't fully embody it. And what I found was that I was always chasing happiness in the future moment. And this made me feel very dissatisfied and very depressed. I would always think to myself that when I finally achieve enlightenment, then I'll be happy. When I finally achieve success, then I'll be happy. When I finally read a hundred books, then I'll be happy. So I was always putting off my happiness into the future. I, was, I thought that the grass was greener on the other side. 
I was always worried about striving towards happiness, and I wouldn't allow myself to feel happy in the present moment until I finally achieved the thing that I wanted. But what really changed everything for me was when I started studying Buddhism very deeply, and I was just studying the nature of reality and how the, the present moment works, and I realized that the present moment is the only thing that exists, literally. There is no future or past. The future and the past are just conceptual constructs that exist in your mind. But there is no actual future. There's just the present moment. Even when you get to the future, that's just going to be another present moment. So the only thing that exists metaphysically, so literally, the only thing that literally exists is this present moment here. It is the thing that has always existed and will always continue exist to exist for eternity. There's this quote that says, don't think of eternity as an extremely long stretch of time. Think of eternity as a place where there is no time. Therefore, eternal life belongs to those who live in the present. Because in the present moment, there's actually no such thing as time. Time is a conceptual construct. But all we have is this present moment here and the flux and flow of sensations. That's the truth. Verify this for yourself. Don't just believe me. Actually check to see. Is, is the present moment all that exists or is Adam full of shit? Actually check. So when I realized that there is no such thing as the future, I realized how stupid I was for thinking that I'm going to be happy in the future. Because if you think that you're going to be happy in the future, then you're never going to be happy because the future literally doesn't exist. The only time to be grateful and satisfied with your life is now. Even in a moment that is not a great moment, maybe it's a crappy moment, you don't really like it, you don't realize that when you choose to focus your attention on the positive aspects of even the crappy moments, then very, very soon you will find yourself in a much more positive moment because focusing your attention on the positive side of life always creates more positivity in your life. So for example, my cousin, a few months ago, he broke his leg and it was a really bad break. He broke it in two spots and he had to have reconstructive surgery for his leg. He actually had a metal bar put into his, his tibia and it took him a few months to heal. It was, he was in excruciating pain, he couldn't walk and he's still going through physiotherapy. When I went to go talk to him in the hospital, he was very, very anxious and worried. He was saying, oh, now I can't work. Now I'm set behind. Now it's going to be so hard for me to make money because he does physical labor for his work. So now he can't work. So the only thing I told him, because I was reading about this from Reality Transurfing, what I told him is I said, hey, I know that this is a terrible thing, but I promise you that something positive is going to come out of it. I guarantee. And he was very open-minded and he told me, you know what, Adam, I think you're right. I can't see how this is going to be a positive thing, but I'm just going to have faith that this is going to be a positive thing. Fast forward a few months and now when I talk to my cousin, he told me, he's like, you know what, Adam, you were so right because now that I broke my leg, I had so much more time to focus on my goals. He's becoming a real estate agent. I was able to study for the exam and I was able to pass the exam and I wasn't 
distracted because he likes to party. He likes to go out and party. He wasn't able to go out and party. He wasn't distracted because he was bedridden. So he focused on passing his real estate exam. He finally passed it. And now he, he said, you know what, Adam, I am so grateful for my ability to walk now. He's like, every single step I take now is a miracle for me. And now for the rest of my life, I'm not going to take my body for granted. So something really, really negative happened, but because he chose to trust that there was going to be a positive thing that comes out of it, then a positive thing actually did come out of it. This is a very, very deep lesson in life. Even negative things create positive results. Because even if you're going through trials and tribulations in your life right now, I promise you that these trials and tribulations are needed to make you stronger and to teach you deep lessons that will shape your character and serve you in your future. So back to the mechanics of gratitude. So the reason why putting off your happiness into the future doesn't work is because the future literally doesn't exist. So when we study law of attraction, manifestation, and success, this isn't just fluffy new age stuff that's pie in the sky. This is very deep rooted, grounded physics. This stuff actually works. If you don't believe me, apply it in your life, test it, and you'll see that it works. What I learned in Psycho-Cybernetics, which is one of the most popular success books of all time, is that if you want to manifest a new result in your life, then one of the best things you can do is to feel like you have already created the result that you want. So he gives you this visualization practice where you lie in your bed and you visualize the thing that you want in your life and you visualize it and you feel Feel it as if it's already real now. The way this works is that on an energetic level, you're aligning your energetic frequency to the version of you who is abundant and who already has the things that you want. And what you'll find, this is the second part of the mechanics of gratitude, is that what you'll find is that you actually already have everything that you need to be successful. I want you to notice this. You already have everything that you need to be successful in your life. This was something that I struggled with a lot. Like a few months ago, I was wanting to buy a new laptop because my laptop was old, it was breaking down, and I wanted to buy a new one that was faster. And I kept thinking like, oh, when I finally get that new laptop, then I'll be able to edit my videos and then I'll be able to make the videos that I want to make. And I kept putting off doing the thing I want to do into the future because I was thinking to myself, oh, when I finally get that new laptop, then I'll be able to fully make the content that I want to create. But when I started being more grateful and I did this identity shifting where I actually started feeling as if I am the version of myself that I want to be now because I can't be the version of myself that I want to be in the future because there is no such thing as the future. The future literally doesn't exist. So I have to be my ideal self now. That's the only time and place where I can be my ideal self, which is right now. When I realized and I actually started implementing it and embodying it, which I talk about how to do in other videos, then I noticed that I already had the thing that I need to create the content that I wanted to make, which was my phone. I realized that if I can just download this app on my phone, I can edit all of my videos straight from my phone and I can even record on my phone. It was, it, I found it was actually a much quicker and easier workflow than what I was doing before. So when I focused my attention on being abundant and feeling grateful and being the version of myself that already has the things that I want, I was able to see things that were already present in my reality that were already there right under my nose, 
but I just wasn't able to see them because I was tuned into the wrong radio channel. So I have a video called Change Your Frequency, Change Your Reality. It's an extremely powerful video. Watch the whole thing where I explain how your energetic frequency is exactly like a radio. And this isn't spiritual mumbo jumbo, this is physics. When you resonate your thought energy and your feeling energy in a higher state of resonance into the version of you who already has the thing that you want, then the TV screen of your life will start to show you the truth that you do already have the things that you want. So when you feel like I'm abundant and I already have the things that I want, your life will actually mirror and resonate with that, just like the way a TV works. When you change the channel of of a TV, what's happening is the receiver, which in this analogy is you, and the actual channel that's playing, which in this analogy is your life, they, they mirror, they resonate on the same frequency and then your TV screen of your life shows you the image that you've been visualizing in your mind. It's the same feeling. This is why gratitude is so valuable because when you're walking down the road and you're grateful for how beautiful the trees are, how beautiful nature is, the weather, I'm grateful for my neighborhood, I'm grateful for my body, I'm grateful for the fact that the internet exists. I'm grateful for the audiobooks that I get to listen to and the teachers that I get to listen to. I'm grateful for all of my mentors and guides. When you're grateful, then that makes you feel satisfied with the present moment. This is very deep. The present moment is the only time that you can feel satisfied. When you're tuned into the wrong radio frequency, which means that you're watering the weeds, you're focusing your attention on the wrong things, when you're focusing your attention on lack, then the TV screen of your life shows you more lack. And the weeds, the unwanted things, grow and expand in your life. And then you feel like you're actually lacking something, which is false. You're not lacking anything. If you pay attention, if you look at the present moment right now and you're, and you're honest with yourself, you'll actually find that you're not lacking anything. Just the fact that you exist here at the center of the present moment, that is infinite abundance. Look at the, the forest I'm in right now. Look at these plants. They're, they're growing out of nothingness. And there's millions of them. (laughs) And they're all infinitely abundant. They're literally growing out of nothing. That's the definition of abundance. Infinity grows out of nothing. There's no lack of energy. There's no lack of resources. You are the source of abundance. You are the creator of reality with a capital C. When you see clearly in your life, you switch from being a reactor to being a creator. When you put the C in the right place, when you see the right things in your life, you switch from being a reactor to a creator. How do we implement gratitude in our life? Very simply, you first thing in the morning when you wake up, water the plants that you want to water so you can make a gratitude list. So what I do every single morning, first thing when I wake up, is I just write three things that I'm grateful for. Already what you're doing is you're training your mind to be grateful for the present moment. First thing. Because if you're not grateful for the present moment, you'll never be grateful for the present moment. If you're not happy now, you'll never be happy. Another way to implement gratitude is to appreciate the beauty and of nature and just appreciate things in your life. Don't be stingy with your appreciation. There's no such thing as giving too much thanks. You can never be too thankful in your life. There's no such thing as too much gratitude. So 
Keep giving thanks, keep giving thanks, keep giving thanks, never stop. I'm super grateful that you stuck through this entire video. I hope that this was very helpful for you. Gratitude is an extremely, extremely important personal development practice to do. Realize that if I'm not grateful now, if I'm not embodying my ideal self now, then I'll never embody it because the future is never going to come because there's no future. When you embody your ideal self now, then you live the life that you want to now. Check out this video here, Change Your Frequency, Change Your Reality, where we go even deeper into the metaphysics of how this works. And otherwise, stick with me. I make constant videos about self-actualization, personal development, and spiritual growth. You can follow me on Instagram, even on TikTok now, on Facebook even. I have a Facebook page. All of this stuff is helping you to stay consistent with the vision of self-actualization and becoming the highest version of yourself. I want to teach you the deep principles that I've learned from my last seven or eight years studying personal development and self-actualization full-time. I've literally made this my full-time job. At this point, I've read over 200 books. I must have listened to over 10,000 hours of video lectures, podcasts, audio books. All I do all day is just absorb personal development, spirituality, and self-actualization info. And I actually apply it in my life. So on this channel, I want to give you a fresh take on personal development and self-actualization. I want to help you connect a lot of the dots with this information. And I want to make it practical and relatable and useful so you can actually apply it in your life to self-actualize and to live the fullest life that you can possibly live. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the other one that I recommend. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.